You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Well, there's Daisy Dozen, clearing off the dining room table. She's telling Ma. You know that Mrs. Olmstead next door? Yes. Well, I was beating the drum about how simply snazzy Does is for dishes. But she didn't tumble. <laughs> Guess she doesn't understand English. Hmm. Maybe you weren't speaking to Daisy. Oh, I really gave, Ma. I told her you had this simply revolting rule about my washing the supper dishes. Me, a woman with a social life. <laughs> Land sakes, Daisy, that's beside the point. Couldn't you just say does is a new kind of soap? It does everything in the wash, and it has everything for dishes, too. Sure. I told her this divine does has just everything for dishes. Why, does make suds that stand up till the last dish is done. And it cuts grease like 60. Yet it's simply sweet to my mitts. Mitts? Really, Daisy. Now, just tell Mrs. Olmsted does is kinder to her hands. I did, Ma. And I said those does suds are no droops, either. They stand up even through the greasy pans. Did you make it clear she don't need to keep adding soap? Sure. I told her does gets those simply revolting pans clean on the downbeat. Oh, such talk, Daisy. You should have said does cuts tough grease in less than half a minute with no hard scouring. I did, Ma. But she acted very strange, especially when I says... Look at my hands. Ever see a smoother pair of romance grippers? Good gracious, Daisy. Well, I better phone poor Mrs. Olmstead and tell her in plain English what does does. <laughs> She'll think we're all balmy. Okay, Ma. Just tell her to give her dishes their daily dozens. Well, translated freely, here's what Daisy's jive means. Does is the only leading granulated wash day soap that combines all this for dishes. It makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done, cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to your hands. Why not change to Does, D-U-Z? It has everything for dishes. And now the Goldbergs. Molly Goldberg is a great metaphysical inventor. Her inventions never get patented, and she never makes any money out of them. But when they work, they help change people. In this particular case, Molly is working on a scheme to which her whole family objects, one which they think is doomed to failure. The person is Grace, who came to the Goldbergs some time ago, posing as Molly's daughter-in-law. Now, the Goldbergs know that Grace, who was really married to George, is a petty thief. But Grace doesn't know that her secret is out. Molly is trying to get Grace to confess of her own free will. She was pretty sure she'd broken down Grace's defenses when the girl broke into tears last night. But it seems Molly was happy too soon. For Grace told George that they had better clear out with the money. Listen. Here, chick, 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 chick. Come on. Come. Here, chick, 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 chick. Look out, Spotty. Go away. Go away. Spotty. Go away. Here, chick, 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 chick. Come on. Yeah. Ma, Papa wants you to know if our telephone was out of order. Why didn't you answer the phone, Ma? Why did you let it ring? Here, chick, 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 Ma. chick, 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 Please, please, Rosalie, please don't ma me this morning. You were so happy a little while ago. What happened? You were singing. I'm not singing now. I'm feeding the chickens now. Ma, you were going to tell Papa something about Grace. What was it? Nothing. Nothing. Go away, chickens. Go away. Go away. The corn is over there. The corn is there. Ma, did something happen to change everything? Ma. Don't mind me, Rosalie. What is Grace doing? She's, she's having her breakfast. She wanted to know where George went. You told her? I don't know where he went. Who is that? Who, who is what? that crossing the road? Go, go away. Go away, chickens. Go away. The corn is over there. That's George crossing the road? Don't holler, Rosalie. Grace can see you through the window, Ma. She can't see me. Wave, wave. He sees us. I want you to go indoors, Rosalie, please. Ma, if Papa rings again... When he rings home for me. And the beds, Rosalie, you please. changing them? Why changing them? This is Wednesday. Just make them, but shake out the sheets. Don't pet them. George? George? Go inside, Rosalie, go please. In, Papa. Papa phones again. I'm go indoors and come outdoors, then. George? George? George, come, come around. Come around by the side of the barn. So we can be invisible. 
Go to Vey, chickens. The corner's over there. Go to Vey, please. Oh, Mrs. Goldberg. Over I... here. Over here. Now, George, tell me now, tell me now, word for word, what was spoken between you and Grace. If you and Grace... Hello, Martha. Hello. I'm fat and middling fat. How are you? I'm all canned up so far as I can go. I will. Good to you. <laughs> So let me hear, George, please. Mrs. Goldberg. So let me hear every voice. It's no use. Grace got that money, and that was a big mistake. You never should have let her keep it. Still, I want to hear. I want to hear word by word, word by word. But, George, a word you didn't drop. I mean, that we know who and what Grace is and so forth. I mean, uh, she don't know yet that I know. No. All right. That'll be the last straw. If we don't succeed... If Grace by herself won't tell us and confess, I mean, everything like you did, well, then the last straw will have to break the camel's back. Now, Mrs. Goldberg... Still, George, darling, I don't know what Grace said and what you said. Somebody's approaching. Sh change your face. I don't want my family to know how disappointed I am in my experiment. Ah! Mars by the barn. Where by the barn? By the northeast corner. What do you mean, boy, is that 42nd Street and Broadway I'm standing in the middle? Right here I am, darling, right here. Go away, sporty. I'm here, so what is it? Hopper called again. Hopper called again? Uh-huh. So you told him evidently that I'm, I'm busy with my chores? I told him I'd call you to the phone, Ma. Go away, she Tell Papa, dear Mama's very occupied. Uh, Grace is indoors, Rosalind? Yes. Papa's on the phone, So Ma. run bed and tell Papa as soon as I can, I will. What? Converse with him. Ma, sometimes you can Wait, be... George. George, I want you to go into Grace. Rosalind, when you conclude on the telephone conversation, come back outdoors. All right, I uh, will. Where's Uncle David? He sent it for the mail. What? He sent it for the mail. Uncle David went for the mail? Yes. Very well, very well. George, go inside. Speak to Grace once again. Tell her, tell her that you have money that you didn't tell her anything about. Tell her you have the money that you earned working for Marsha and you have more than she thinks you have. And if she wants to take the money that don't belong to her because she needs it, tell her it's not necessary. But I haven't any money. The money I earned at Marsha's wouldn't keep us in New York for a month. And besides, well, she'll want to see it. George, if, I mean, if I loaned you a little money... Well, uh, I wouldn't take it. Why not? Just because I wouldn't. Then all my hopes for you too, George. I mean, must I be disappointed in you too? Why? Because I won't if take... If you trusted my friendship, you would take it. It's not much, but it'll give you a little start. You pay it back. What man can't find work now if he wants to work? So go inside. Tell Grace to give you the money she has that was collected because the committee called up and they want it in the bank. See, on the committee's name. And if she says Father, something... Mom? Yeah. Where are you? Again, where are I? I'm here on the northeast corner. All right. So go, George. I'll wait here till you'll come out. Papa wants you to call him back. I will. Well, the chickens are fed already. But the cows have to be milked, too. Go, George, please. Mrs. Goldberg, I... George. George. Exactly my words. To the iota, end quote. Exactly. Now what, Ma? What, what? You don't want to tell me, then don't. Tell you what? I can't read palms, but I can read faces. Mm -hmm. That gives me pleasure to know I have such an accomplished daughter. Ma. Ma, what is it? Rosalie. Rosalie, look at me. And answer me. And before you answer me, think well before. And listen carefully. Answer me to my question. Do you think there's hope for Grace? No. She's going to get away with all that money. I'm sure of it. Ma, don't judge people by yourself. You can't. You think that because you spoke to Grace about something sentimental and she cried, that that meant she was reforming. I read someplace where gangsters and murderers cry when they read Little Red Riding Hood. And what must I do? Just let her go out in the world and go from bad to worst? If George wasn't a weakling, if Grace really loved George... You mean... But if a woman loves a man... So? 
Well, a woman wants to be good and everything that's wonderful for the man she loves. And? And nothing more, you know. But what love does to a woman? So? So say it again, what? Let me hear to say again, so. If a woman loves a man, and... Yeah. I, I mean, if George threatened to leave Grace... Shh. Here comes, shh. Here comes George. Go to the barn, Rosalie, and get the milk pails ready for me. You who? George! Tell George what I said, Ma. The cows are mooing to be milked, Rosalie, please. Well, George. Well, no, so? <laughs> Nothing doing, Mrs. Goldberg. You better go in and ask for the money, even if you have to tell her what you know. George, George, what would happen, for instance, I mean, for instance. Yes? If you tell Grace uh, you, you're leaving her, that you loved her, but, but you don't love her anymore. She knows I'm crazy about her. She could commit murder and I'd stick to her. Then uh, how much does she love you? I don't know. Then don't you think uh, it's time you found out? Molly knows something that Rosie doesn't know about human beings. That individual people cannot be changed by mechanical things like threats or promises. Now, to change a person, you have to discover the secret in that person's life. And Molly is obstinate enough to try to find it in Grace's past. You know, some folks don't talk much, but when they do, they really make it count. Our friend Pa Dozum's like that. He makes his words count, too. Yesterday, he said... A feller bet me five dollars I couldn't talk on one subject for five minutes. Oh, what'd you do, Pa? Well, he started talking about does. Uh-oh. <laughs> Easiest five dollars I ever made. <laughs> does sure does everything. <laughs> well, does certainly does everything in the wash, anyhow. Yes, this new kind of soap does dirty overalls, streaky towels to pretty rayon slips. Why, compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, does gives longer life to the colors you wash, plus unsurpassed whiteness for towels and real cleaning power for grimy work clothes. Even in the toughest wash, does does everything. And friends, during wartime, remember soap waste is war waste, because does and all other soaps contain vital war materials. So make your does go further. Soak clothes in clear, cool water before washing in does suds. See to it, every bit of does you use does more. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs, written for you by Gertrude Berg. Molly finds her own family as an obstacle in the course of Grace's redemption. This is Clayton Collier speaking and reminding you to do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your watch.